So here we're getting the, the package ready. Um, I'm gonna open it up and just gonna label the back of it. Let's you know which side when you're returning the transfer to make sure um, to put it on the slick side. I'm just gonna peel off the transfer. I actually tried to trans uh, kind of fuzz it up on a towel because it was bigger, but it just didn't have enough fuzz on it. So you're gonna see here in just a second that I flip it back over onto the, the picture frame and I take the Chalk Couture fuzzing cloth and I just do it in sections because it just needed more fuzz. If you don't have enough of uh, fuzz, if you don't take some of that sticky away, the transfer just sticks too um, hard to the surface and when you try and pull it off when you're completed with the project, it can stretch out your transfer and make it difficult to reuse it. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with um, where I'm at with it now, so now I'm just going to kind of place it. It's important that you get all the bubbles out of the the wording or the area that you want actually to be on your project. So I'm, I'm kind of particular as to placement, but I'm noticing here there's actually an actual piece of fuzz in my letter, so I go and I kind of pick that out. But then when I go and put it down, there's bubbles. And of course you have, you, you want no bubbles in your project. So I'm just gonna work it out. Get it back to where I want it to be. And because I fuzzed it, it's not too uh, sticky to the surface so I can actually manipulate it some. So I had gotten, uh, I'd opened up brand new paste and it actually was chunky. That happens sometimes. So you just spritz it with some distilled water and um, you can actually heat it in the microwave for like 10 seconds and it'll help you stir it up. But um, that's, I had to skip over it and do that. It took me a second to do that. But you just want it to be yogurt consistency. But now I'm just kind of, um, smearing on the, the different colors that I want and I'm, I'm gonna do a couple of different colors. And I want them to just kind of blend into each other just a little bit. For the other colors, I was actually using the um, small squeegee, but on this one, I'm actually using the uh, handled squeegee, just because I can, um, well, first it's fast, and um, second, I'm going to just go over my entire project to pick up any of the extra chalk, because I don't want that extra chalk to be in my lettering. I don't want that line, the lines to show. I just scoop it up, and I'm also kind of smearing in some of that color to kind of blend it in. And I don't know if you can see, but down at the bottom, I've gotten an, uh, just a little bit of the chalk at the bottom underneath the waves. You just take a little uh, wet paper towel and, and clean that right up.
and there's the finished project. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.